Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam. Length of the beam is given as 8 meter. In this beam we have uniformly distributed load 4 kN per meter acting for the distance of 6 meter from the left support. Now using formulas let us find the moments in the ends A and B. If in the fixed beam Uniformly distributed load is acting for a distance of A from the left end. This is the formula to find the moment in the left end and this is the formula to find the moment in the right end. Inside the formulas, let us apply the values. A is 6, W is 4 and L is 8. For MA, we will get 20.25 kN meter. And for MB, we will get 15.75 kN meter. If you can't memorize these two formulas, alternatively, we can do integrations and find the moments. We know that if a fixed beam is subjected to a concentrated load at a distance A from the left side, the formulas to find the fixed end moments are WAB square upon L square and WA square B upon L square. Now we are going to use these two formulas. In the portion where uniformly distributed load is acting, let us consider a small distance dx. It is at a distance of x from the point A. So the right side distance should be 8 minus x. In the dx portion, the load is 4 into dx we will get 4 dx, a is x and b is 8 minus x. Now we can use this formula and find ma. For that we have to do the integration. The limit for the integration is 0 to 6. Let us apply the values. w is 4 dx, a is x, b square is 8 minus x the whole square. L square is 8 square. 4 upon 8 square we will get 0 0.0625. Now we can take your calculator and do the integration. If you do not know how to make integration in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and for MA I have got 20.25 kN meter. Now using this formula, we can find MB. For MB, we will get 15.75 kN meter. We have found both of the end moments. Now let us take moment about to B and find the vertical reaction or A. The moment in A is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. Or A is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8, so 8 or A. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 6. Then we have to open a bracket. We have to divide 6 by 2. Then we have to add the remaining distance 2. This moment is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. Finally for R A, we will get 15.56 kN. Now using the rule sigma v is equal to 0, we can find Rb. Ra and Rb are acting upwards. So both of them are positive. The uniformly distributed load is acting downwards. So it will be negative and the distance is 6. For Rb, we will get 8.44 kN. Now let us find the shear force values. I am going to find them from the point A. In this case we have to use right hand side rule. Upwards positive and downwards negative. Using this rule we can find the shear force values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. In this point the shear force becomes zero. In this point there will be maximum positive bending moment. In this point, let us make a section and find the distance. 
you can see that I have made a section at a distance of x from the point A. We know that in this section the shear force is zero. Using that concept, we can find x which is 3.89 meter. Now let us find the maximum positive bending moment. This moment is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. The reaction in the point A is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.89. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the UDL we have to multiply the distance and a distance by 2. For the maximum positive bending moment we will get 10.01 kN meter. Let us find the bending moment in the point A. In the point A we have a moment MA which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. To find the bending moments in the points B and C we can use the left hand side rule because it will be easy. Let us find the bending moment in the point B. In the point B we have the moment MB which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Let us find the bending moment in the point C. MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. The reaction is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2. For the bending moment at C, we will get 1.13 kN meter. You can see the bending moment diagram. In these two points, the bending moment becomes 0. These two points are called point of contraflexure. Let us make sections in these two points. Let us make this section at a distance of x from the point A and this section at a distance of x from the point B. Using right hand side rule, we can find the moment at this section. Then using the calculator, we can find the value of x. Then using the left hand side rule, we can find the moment in this section. We know that the moment is 0. In this way, we can find x which is 1.87 meter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.